Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about midriasis, meiosis and ptosis. Uh, we have two type of uh, pupil uh, innervation. Parasympathetic pathway and sympathetic pathway. Uh, parasympathetic pathway uh, is carried by uh, oculometer or third cranial nerve and is originate from uh, Edinger Westphal nuclei. Uh, and uh, the postganglionic, uh, um, the postganglionic nerve uh, is after ciliary ganglion, and uh, in the name of uh, short, short ciliary nerve or postganglionic nerve, uh, this uh, parasympathetic pathway uh, is innervated. Uh, this parasympathetic pathway innervates the uh, sphincter pupil. Okay, and uh, we have a sympathetic pathway uh, that is originate uh, from the uh, superior cervical ganglion. And uh, we have also a carotid plexus, and after that we have a postganglionic, uh, para um, postganglionic sympathetic pathway uh, that is in name of the lung ciliary nerve or postganglionic. And uh, in another slide, I'll talk about them detail. Yes, uh, we have, uh, um, as I said before, we have two types of innervation of the pupil, and uh, parasympathetic and uh, sympathetic pathway, and uh, uh, parasympathetic pathway uh, constricts the pupil, and sympathetic pathway is dilator or dilates the pupil okay uh, also we have uh, two important muscle in the uh, in this picture and these are uh, elevator of eyelids upper eyelids uh, levator patellar superioris muscle is innervated by superior division of oculomotor and superior tarsal muscle is innervated by uh, nerve, uh, sympathetic uh, nervous system that is uh, originated from superior cervical ganglion. Okay, uh, we have uh, midriasis. But what is midriasis? Midriasis is dilatation of the pupil. Okay, and uh, because uh, it can be uh, because of uh, high activity of the sympathetic nervous system. Uh, and uh, for example, sympathetic sympathomimetic drugs or anxiety, and also uh, low activity of the parasympathetic nervous system. And it's because uh, anticholinergic drugs or injury to third cranial nerve or uh, oculomotor nerve. Also, we have a pharmacologic. Uh, as I said in previous slide, uh, drugs increase activity of the sympathetic nervous system. Clonidine, apraclonidine, phenylephrine, brimonidine, uh, dopamine, TCA drugs, uh, MDMA or ecstasy, MAO inhibitor drugs, cocaine. And drugs decrease the activity of the parasympathetic nervous system. Atropine, hematropine, cyclopentolate, ipratropium, escopolamine, tropicamide, and hexamethanium. Okay. And uh, we have uh, third nerve palsy. Midriasis, uh, for midriasis from isolated third nerve palsies is almost always associated with an extracular movement deficit and or ptosis. A completely isolated midriasis is extremely unlikely to be related to a third nerve palsy. Tonic pupil and pharmacologic midriasis should be special, specifically uh, excluded by careful neuropharmacologic evaluation and pharmacologic testing in this setting. And uh, we have also meiosis. But what is meiosis? Is excessive constriction of pupil because of it can be because of uh, high activity of the parasympathetic nervous system uh, such as uh, opioid drugs insecticides because of organophosphates and cholinomimetic drugs 
also uh, low activity of the sympathetic nervous system uh, because, uh, such as uh, antipsychotic drugs, Horner syndrome and Adai pupil. Pharmacology causes uh, opioid drugs, uh, fentanyl, oxycodone, heroin, methadone, antipsychotic drugs such as olanzapine, haloperidol, quetiapine, and parasympathetic mimetic uh, for, uh, such as uh, neostigmine and rivastigmine. But uh, what is Horner syndrome? It's an important uh, disease. Uh, it's, um, um, it can be produced by a lesion anywhere along the sympathetic pathway that is supplies the head, eye, and neck. Uh, it can be because of uh, any mass in upper lobe of the lung or uh, an everest alongside the uh, carotid or uh, artery uh, that goes to the eye okay and uh, also I'll talk about this disease in other slide and so important disease and in this picture we have uh, meiosis and ptosis uh, and it can be because of Horner syndrome uh, if uh, uh, we have also anhydrosis and ptosis or dropping of the upper eyelid. It can be congenital, uh, such as Marcus Ganjo winking that I'll talk about this uh, disorder in uh, next slide. And also it can be aponeurotic uh, because of disinsertion or uh, disinsertion of the levator aponeurosis. Or it can be mechanical. For example, infection, inflammation, and eyelid tumors. And uh, it can be neurologic. Uh, neurologic, uh, it's, uh, it can be third nerve palsy, uh, Horner syndrome, myasthenia gravis, bot botulinum, uh, toxin, and it can be myogenic. Okay? And uh, I have to say that uh, how we can uh, confirm, uh, confirm the Horner syndrome uh, and distinguish between uh, Horner syndrome and pharmacologic uh, causes. Uh, we use a cocaine or apraclonidine uh, drops and uh, we can uh, measure the change uh, in pupil. Uh, and uh, by this test, uh, we can uh, confirm the Horner syndrome or uh, the pharmacologic causes. Uh, because a cocaine blocks the reuptake of the norepinephrine at the sympathetic nerve synapse and causes pupillary dilation in eyes with intact sympathetic innervation. Also, we have Marcus Gunn jaw winking, uh, and what is this? Uh, patient may, may have congenitally aberrant innervation of the levator muscle by the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve, and when the patient contracts the petrogoid muscle during sucking or jaw, op jaw opening or lateral jaw movement, uh, the eye will be opened. Okay. And I hope this slide uh, be useful for you and you can subscribe us and uh, you can follow us in YouTube and uh, thank you.